Hello dear viewers and subscribers of the Edible Fly channel. Uh, so this is another video to introduce another project that uh, we will, we've been working on for the last couple of uh, months. Uh, so basically this is a restoration of uh, the uh, original flying wheel F550 frame that used to have the uh, zero controller, the flight controller. So we've replaced the uh, zero flight controller with uh, the APM, which is a micro uh, APM from uh, Hobby King. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, offset on uh, the improvised standoffs. Uh, it's sitting in the box that uh, uh, we've got the openings for connectors, especially for them. And uh, um, connected to uh, the receiver the GPS antenna and uh, uh, the data link. Uh, well, apart from that, uh, we can see the original DJI motors and uh, frame. One of the arms was replaced. You can see it's a bit different color, which uh, is a bit of a hiccup because uh, we couldn't get the right uh, uh, tint of red. Um, also, we've got rid of the original landing gear. So the landing gear is the retractable landing gear project which is described in yet another uh, video. Uh, the controller for the retractable landing gear is here. So this is driven by a sonar unit. <clears throat> so this is a standard uh, Arduino style sonar unit, which is uh, HCSR04. Uh, you can see that it's all wired through the uh, prototyping uh, breadboard, breadboard style uh, circuit board and uh, uh, there's an Arduino Mini Pro that drives it all and uh, reads the signals from uh, the sonar and uh, uh, gives the signal uh, back to uh, the landing gear uh, and there's also an interface uh, well these two connectors for uh, two of these uh, that connect to the servos of uh, the landing gear and uh, yet another connector to supply the power. Um, it's also programmable through the standard interface on Arduino uh, Mini Pro. It will be set to a certain distance at this point of time, although we plan to change it and to introduce a potentiometer so that uh, the height of uh, the activation will be adjustable. Yet another interesting development here in this project is uh, this 3D gimbal, which um, uh, is based on, once again, on one of the uh, Hobby King uh, gimbals. This one was bought for around about $40, 40 Australian dollars, and um, uh, it's driven by uh, the yet another 3D uh, controller arrangement, which consists of a big board and a small board, and uh, that one was about $40 uh, as well, so all together, uh, including the uh, $20 motor that uh, uh, um, we've added to this design, it's right about $100. That's again a sweating dollars. And uh, uh, well, the setup seems to work. So we're going to control uh, the third axis. Uh, we try and we'll try to hook it up to the controller, to the main controller, which is once again the APM controller and uh, uh, we'll try to get it aligned with the uh, direction of the flight. So yet another modification to the original design is the battery bracket, which is this one. And uh, as you know, many people mount the battery on top of the flame wheel uh, frame. Uh, now we've decided to go for the battery bracket mounting style because uh, um, this way will shift the uh, center of gravity uh, under the level of uh, the propellers. So uh, uh, we hope to avoid uh, uh, issues with uh, uh, a falling leaf effect during the descent of uh, uh, the hexacopter. Um, and um, yet another bracket here uh, will serve as uh, a base for the landing gear controller. So it will be mounted probably on the other, on the other side um, on an angle facing uh, the ground. <coughs> So, um, this is all for now, uh, we will try to get it flying and test flight it over the next couple of days and uh, uh, make another video of uh, uh, our progress. <laughs> 